Grab your finest bottle of sherry and your dapperiest suit as we delve into... <laughs> Frasier Fantasy. And let's take a, a trip down memory lane for a moment. It's 1993, and the world is captivated by cheers. The beauty of Ted Danson and Shelley Long and their characters will they won't they sam and diane thing propels the show forward but oh no disaster looms in the horizon as ted danson is ready to move on but what will the network do that is when fraser crane comes to the rescue kelsey Grammer, wanting to keep the good times rolling stars in his own spin-off from cheers simply called Frasier. Now is when we get off the track of uh, a stroll down memory lane, and now we're going into some alternate history stuff, and we enter into a fantasy timeline. And in this alternate timeline of the Cheers verse, because of the show's popularity, NBC greenlights the first ever Frasier video game, because there's nothing that little kids want to play more than a video game with dry humor, high society in Seattle centered around a radio psychologist, a radio therapist, radio therapist, whatever he is. I introduce you to Frasier Fantasy. Frasier Fantasy is actually just a, a fan-made game made by one guy, Edward LaBarbera, that can't be right. Leber Leberbra? It is indeed based off of the hit spin-off, Fraser. It is in the style of a classic turn-based RPG, very similar to Earthbound. The game is actually really fun. I was able to play through the entire game in about 40 minutes. In those 40 minutes, there is just jam- it's, it's just jam-packed with Fraser references that uh, it can keep you playing again and again. In fact, I think there's some stuff you could do differently that will change the story, but I haven't tested that out. Overall, it's- there's- I, I mean, I'm a casual Frasier fan. I've seen it maybe twice through. I like it, but this game is just a deep dive. In fact, this, this game was so good that it actually made me want to go back and watch Frasier and even give the that reboot a, a, a view. You can play this game on itch.io. I included his Instagram and Twitter down in the uh, notes below, along with the itch.io details. You can actually play the game for free, but there is an option to download and pay what you want uh, you know, if you want to support the creator. If you were like me from earlier this week, you might not have ever heard of itch.io. However, this is the gaming part of YouTube, which you probably are familiar with more so than me. But for the uninitiated, it is a website where users are able to host, sell, and download indie games, among other things, uh, like zines, comics, and music. It's actually really interesting. Unlike Steam that usually has this long process of like green lighting uh, before the game is distributed, this website is just kind of the wild west and lets everything through. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of horror themed games, which is not my jam, but you know, if you like that, it's there. And that being said, because everything is just the wild west, there is a lot of junk. In fact, if you look on YouTube, there's just a whole terrible games of itch.io section. So um if you want to look into that you can but this is a gem comment down below some other itch.io gems that i might not be aware of and that you'd like to see me play like this video if you liked it subscribe if you care to do so and better yet watch another one of my videos ali the algorithm really likes it when you do that and so do i